Back to the Weather Watch now and a live look at the city's Christmas tree at Millennium Park all lit up tonight. Yeah, gorgeous out there. Mary Kay Kleist you're now tracking a storm mm -hmm. and we're not talking snow. No, because we're going to be on the mild side of it. Temperatures today a full 10 degrees warmer than normal. When's the last time we did that? Temperatures made it to 53. The Chris Kindle market that is ideal conditions out there tonight because winds are light. Temperatures are on the mild side. We have 49 degrees currently, so it's nice to see the winds below 10 miles per hour because some big winds are on the way as the next system rolls in, but not this evening. If you have plans this evening, mainly clear skies, temperatures hovering in the lower 40s and then about 40 degrees by 11 o'clock, but we are watching Watching for a big change coming our way tomorrow. So it's dry and quiet tonight. Rain develops by tomorrow afternoon. Look at Futurecast. 10 a.m. We're sunny. Clouds roll in from the south. Rain moves in after lunch. Light rain. But at night, once the sun goes down, we're going to be looking at showers and maybe some thunderstorms to move through with the leading edge of this whole system as it brings us those big winds by Wednesday. But it does look like we will be mild, so the snow line will stay well to the north of us. The storm track itself will bring snow from Omaha to Minneapolis, but notice how we are on the mild side of this, getting all of that rain activity, and by the time Wednesday rolls around and cold air rushes in, the moisture is gone, so it doesn't have anything to work with and give us any wintry precipitation. What this system will give us are some big winds. We will have a lakeshore flood watch up on Wednesday here in LaPorte County for waves to 10 feet, a high wind watch for all of us during the day on Wednesday, and what that means, it's officially in effect from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. PM. We could see southwest winds sustained 30 to 40, gusting to 60. I think the highest winds will be between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. So that could cause some power outages. And it's also hazardous travel for those high profile vehicles running on those north south roads. So let's time it out. Tuesday morning, sunshine to start, clouds increase, and then at noon, showers line up to I 80 and they lift through for the evening rush. Light rain, heavy rain comes our way at night. Look at 11 o'clock at night. Heavy downpours, maybe some thunder thunderstorms that moves out for us and if we get left with a flurry in the morning on Wednesday it is going to be very brief the big story will be those high winds gusting to almost 60 miles per hour making it a little rough for air travelers on that day and then chilly for Thanksgiving but dry